Hi, my name is Colin Shepard. I'm the director of coffee for Mom and M Coffee and Wine and Fausto at the CAC. Uh, today with Roasty Coffee, we're going to be looking at the Breville Creatista Plus. It is a home espresso machine that uses Nespresso pods. Um, so we're just kind of like going to do a quick run through of the machine here. Uh, so on the machine, you'll press this start cancel button to turn it on and it does feature a full color LCD. Uh, and when it loads in, um, there's a couple different drink options. Um, you can make espressos, ristrettos, lungos, uh, flat whites, lattes, cappuccinos, uh, latte macchiato, uh, as well as a standalone milk steaming option, uh, steam purging just to kind of like clean milk out of the steam wand. Uh, and there's also a maintenance, uh, full maintenance menu in there as well as just a couple different settings. Uh, when you are making an actual drink, uh, it does have a couple different customization options. With that, you can change how much you're frothing the milk, you can change the actual milk temperature, as well as the, uh, the amount of volume for the coffee shot as well. Uh, so just to kind of get into it, uh, let's make a drink here. So we're going to just take your standard Nespresso pod, you will just pop the top open here, throw the capsule in, and then let's just select the espresso setting here. So you'll click on that select button and then select your volume. And then down here there's also a little tray if you don't want the espresso to fall all the way down. And we'll just press start. And just like that you have a nice quick espresso for in the morning. Uh, don't have to dial in the machine or do any work more than just throwing a capsule in and press and start. And now we're going to touch base on steaming the milk. So you'll actually uh, just select, use the scroll wheel to go over to the milk option. You'll just select it. And then we've already got some milk in here. And this does feature a little temperature probe that the pitcher rests on. So once the actual like, computer in there senses the temperature is correct, it'll cut the steaming out. So that's really handy so you don't burn the milk or over steam it or anything. So you'll just lift it. Make sure that pitcher is on the actual temp temperature probe. And then you can select your temperature for the milk. Um, we're just going to set ours to hot. And then you can also select the froth level. We're just going to keep ours at the default setting. And you just press start. And it should start steaming the milk. All right, and once the milk is done, you will just lift the steam wand. Take the pitcher out, and it should just automatically purge the steam wand. And now you have nicely steamed milk that you can pour some latte out with if you're feeling frisky. And just like that, you can make a cappuccino or a latte at home with just a few minutes of time. And then with the steam wand, uh, it is a very foolproof way to steam milk if you're brand new to specialty coffee, uh, if you're just used to regular old drip coffee. Uh, it is a good way. Um, you won't burn the milk because it has that temperature probe in there, so it will keep the milk perfectly froth and at the just the right temperature for you. Another good feature about the Breville Creatista Plus is that when you lift the actual handle here. Uh, it does drop the pod into a handy little tray here. So you'll just pop it in and then nicely just falls into here for quick and easy disposal. And as a summary, um, this machine is great for people who are just getting into specialty coffee. Um, it's great if you want to have an espresso based drink uh, in the morning rather than just a standard cup of coffee. And it does use those in espresso pods. Uh, so it does make a really consistent cup of coffee every morning for you. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to learn more about the machine, uh, you can check our description below. We'll have a link to it. Uh, and just don't forget to press that thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.